Between every two speakers, I will be announcing the social distancing measures. But we've only had one speaker, so I'm not going to talk about it right now. Instead, I'm going to welcome a man who has been travelling around the country setting an example of the truth. He's a great speaker and a great man. A welcome to everyone, Gary Fike. Thank you very much. I just want to say it's an honour and a privilege to stand shoulder to shoulder with every single one of you. It takes courage to stand up at the best of times and it really takes courage to stand up now. So thank you for doing that. It takes courage here because we know exactly how we're going to be portrayed by the mainstream media as far-right lunatics and conspiracy theorists, nutcases, grandma killers, whatever they think of, fascists. Is there a flag out there somewhere or something? The mainstream media is never, ever, ever going to be on our side because they are owned and controlled by the very people we are fighting against. We're never going to get their acceptance and we should stop seeking it because we're well beyond that now. We are in a psychological war and we are the front line. All those people that are home getting their entire narrative from the BBC are never going to come and fight for us. But that doesn't mean that we don't fight for them. I've got nothing but love for every single one of you, for every single police officer, for every single counter protester, for every single person sat at home watching us and shaking their head. Because hate and division is what's got us in this mess and love and unity is what's going to get us out of it. The psychological war is dangling the carrot in front of us. If you do this, you can get your life back. If you do X, Y, and Z, you can get your life back. News flash. Governments do not take away freedoms and impose draconian impositions just to reverse it. In the same way a robber doesn't turn up the following morning going, oh mate, sorry, here's your Xbox. It's not going to happen. But we take it back, and taking it back is a lot easier than people think. It's simply by non-compliance. We are the 99.99%, and when we stand together, it's over. It's just a three week lockdown to flatten the curve. And when the curve was flatter than building seven, it was extended and expanded because it was never about health, it was about control. The once great NHS was destroyed and rebranded as the COVID health service. Nothing more than a propaganda arm of government. And while hospitals sat empty, cancer went undiagnosed, heart disease untreated, suicide spiked 200%, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, domestic violence, all through the roof. 25% of young Americans have said they contemplated taking their own life in the last six months. 25%. And while all this was happening, we were told we could come out of our cages at 8 p.m. on a Thursday to applaud this destruction. Even while we lost our jobs and our livelihoods and our abilities to feed our families. Because it was never about health, it was about control. Get tested. Get tested and you can have your life back. A test that doesn't even test for COVID-19. A test whose inventor Carrie Muller said should not be used to test for infectious diseases. But it is. And when they get their false positives that they desire, they use those tests to shut down your towns, shut down your cities and take away your livelihoods. And with the 45 times amplification that the NHS are currently using on the PCR test, I'm surprised they've not found Lord Lucan and Shergar in someone's DNA. Wear a mask and you can have your life back. A mask that does nothing to stop the spread of viral particles, but everything, everything to disrupt our intake of oxygen. Because like I say, it's not about health, it's about control. Politicians took the knee to protest the murder of George Floyd, a guy who was murdered saying he couldn't breathe while mandating it for an entire population to wear muzzles so we can't breathe. Because it's not about health, it's about control. Get the vaccine. Get the vaccine and you can have your life back. A vaccine with two potential scenarios attached. Either it's an experimental vaccine that's been knocked up in 20 minutes by some lad in the car park behind bargain booze that's had no long-term testing, when even those vaccines that cause great damage and lead to billions in vaccine damage payouts take years and years and years and years to develop. Sorry, mate. I had my thumb on the mic. That's a symptom. Average amount of time it takes to develop a vaccine, 15, 20 years. Coronavirus vaccines in history, none. But this one will be mandated. Either that or it's scenario two. What is in this vaccine was ready all along. 
and COVID-19 is purely the Trojan horse to get it into every man, woman and child on the planet. Whichever one it is, the answer is exactly the same. Not a chance, mate. Now I understand all these things that I'm going on about are dead depressing and I get that like in the morning sometimes I'll get up and I'm like I can't be dealing with this today. But the answer is dead dead simple. It is simply in saying no. I don't comply. I will not lock down. I will not wear a mask. I will not get tested. I will not get vaccinated. I will not accept the Orwellian new speak new normal. I will see my friends. I will hug my family, I will shake your hand, I will put my arm around you if you need comfort because I'm a human and I'm going to act like a human. There's nothing normal about kids being put in boxes in the playground away from their friends. There's nothing normal about over 60s in care homes having do not resuscitate orders put on them without theirs or their family's consent, having their treatment withdrawn so they can die alone and have COVID-19 put on their death certificate when there's no evidence for it. There's nothing social about being distant. There's nothing normal about kids dying alone in hospital beds because their mums and dads are not allowed to be there with them. There's nothing normal about that and I will not accept it. We are the 99.99%. We decide our futures, not them. And when we stand together in non-compliance, this whole game is over. It's over in 20 minutes. Centuries from now, people will talk about this time in history. Not because we were stripped of our humanity, but because we stripped away the veneer of authority and we took our humanity back. We are free, sovereign human beings and it's time to start acting like it. I'll just leave you with this from Her Majesty's government. Notice that it's Her Majesty's government. It ain't yours and it ain't mine. We're locking you down. It's only three weeks. Sign up to Netflix, put up your feet. We'll pay your wages, just keep your eyes shut, keep your head down, no family meetups. Flick on the TV and bathe in the fear, because if you turn that propaganda off, this pandemic disappears. Control the virus, please stay alert, but not to the facts, because facts can cause hurt. It says here you've been sharing some uncomfortable facts on Facebook, sir. 8 p.m. Thursday, come to your door. Bid farewell to your freedoms with a round of applause. And while hospitals sit empty, it's tumbleweed round the clock. The only thing going viral here is going viral on TikTok. Do not resuscitate, do not resuscitate. These orders come from on high. Because the best way to protect the elderly is by allowing them to die. He can't breathe, he can't breathe, we all take the knee. Not you, cover your face and here's a bag full of muzzles for the kiddies. What do you mean you're exempt? Do as you're told. Ah, uh, you thought this was about health. Now nah, mate, this is about control. So give us your arm and give us your vein. Because there's no human rights when you belong to the state. We've sold your body and we've sold you lies. Sold to the highest bidder, Bill Gates and his husband, I mean wife. Is this some kind of resistance, London? Is this some kind of resistance, London? Yeah, that's right. The people have risen. We reject this control. We reject this division. We are the ocean. We have the power. We are everything to which they aspire. I am you. I love you. And you, you are me. We are the 99%. We are humanity. And centuries from now, they will speak of this time. Not because we rolled over, but because we drew the line. The sleeping lion is stirring, it's starting to wake. And when that lion roars, check mate. Love you. Let's hear it for Gary Fike.